How's it going? It's been a while. Long time no see. Yeah, welcome to our studio. Looks Here good. In, uh, I'll do a little dance again. <laughs> this dance. There's always this dance, isn't it? Is it, or is it this dance? This is it dance. dance. Or is it this one? Anyway, welcome to Guitar Paradiso <laughs> on Anderson's TV. My name is Pete. Uh, I'm Ariel. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. And um, so, these things, right? I think there's been a few videos before on this channel, we've done some bass videos, we used them before, there's been some comparison stuff, and, but we thought we were gonna take in two of the sort of most sold ones that, yeah. we, that, that we do, and it's the Cali 76, it's sort of a compact range, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, you, if you're watching this video, you probably know what these things are, and yeah. what they do. They are just Im amazing compressor pedals, aren't they? Yeah, really. um, from, from the, the good fellas over at, uh, Origin effects from yeah. Oxfordshire. 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 Tem. Yeah. Oxfordshire. Simon and the guys <laughs> are doing magical things. Um, yeah, initially these compressors were designed off the 1176 Lowell George yeah. sound, which yeah. is two 1176 studio grade compressors feeding into each other, and you get that really nice compressed sound. So he started with that, and then he just grew into these into these other pedals, the Cali, which is just one, we'll get into this, but. Yeah. So you might have seen them, the, you yeah. know, the big ones were the first one that came out, wasn't it? Yeah, and they I were thought, gigantic. Yeah, yeah they, were, they were like, they were like almost like these two, to like this, massive things, weren't they? They were gigantic. And, and he's figured out how to put them in this box. But I tell you what, when you lift this up. Whew. Right, it's got some this, weight. This, it's not, you know, it's not a, it's not a box where there's nothing inside, definitely not. Yeah. And the one with more knobs on it, funnily enough, is heavier than the one, how is it? I don't know. Anyway, the heavier they are, the better they sound. That's we'll what, do a weight shootout. That's out. what my dad says. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you always said, like, the speakers are amped, it has to be heavy, then it's better. But you know, yeah. this guitar's really light and it's really nice, so, hey. hey. But, so, so, um, so Simon is the guy that makes them, right? The man. The man himself, and I, so you, you've, you've had some, hanging out time with him, haven't you? Yeah, I spent some time with him. I actually own a Cali 76. Yes. Um, I have a deluxe version. This is the compact version. The only difference, this is a compact deluxe version of the slide rig. Yeah. Um, the compact versions and the compact deluxe versions are the same pedals. There's just less knobs to do the same things with. So, so there's only three knobs here, but you can get all those same sounds 
and functions from the Compact Deluxe Cali 76. Yeah, so they do, I don't know if you can zoom in on Look this. Look at that. So here's a little, here's a little uh, we'll put them up on the screen as well. So there are, so there are five different ones in the range. So there is, a, and there's a base one, I, I believe, yep. as well. So there's, a, there's the, there's the uh, Compact 76, which we have here, and then this, the Slide Rick Deluxe, right? This is the Compact Deluxe. Yeah. So, so then they'll do a... They'll do a, a three-knob version of the Slide yes, Rig exactly. as well. So it's actually good that we have one of each, so you can just kind of get an idea yeah. what they look like and the sounds you can get with each setup of knobs. But just so you know, the Slide Rig does come in a three-knob version yeah. and vice versa it's, with the it's really, it's really cool. So on, on this one here, so the Compact here, um, you've got an, an output and an input, and then you've got a ratio low or high. So if you want to a less aggressive attack, mm. you put it on low, and if you want something ha more hard, you know, that kicks in, you put it on high. And then you've got the attenuation release, which is kind of a blend knob, I guess. So yeah. you've got the um, fast, slow, so I think, so shoot me down if I'm wrong, the attenuation slash release, fast attack, slow release on that side. Yep. And then slow attack, fast, fast. release on that side, right? So what we'll do, we'll go through in a minute and just give you some uh, some some settings in here. But you can use this for anything to like really smooth kind of glooming yeah. uh, chords thing all the way down to some proper, you know. I mean, the bottom line is that um, whether you're a touring musician or a session musician, um, or if you just like listening to music, everything you've ever heard, um, guitars, bass, drums, vocals, Everything is compressed, and on recordings, yeah. it's run through compression. And this is just about as close to studio grade compression as you're going to get on a guitar pedal. Um, it's literally voice after the the famed 1176. Which is great. You know, what I heard because her story. I heard that Mariah Carey, when she did her singing, again, shoot me down if I'm wrong. <laughs> but this is what I heard. They normally run her vocal through two compressors. Really? Mm, Was it two of these? I don't know. It might have been. Maybe not the slide, Rick. I'm just kidding. He does the slide. Ah! Like that. Uh, let's, so here's, here's, here's I, I can show you. So I've got my telly running into the JC, ATM45. I've got a little uh, roommate on the floor there just for some <laughs> reverb. Just a little bit. This is the clean tone. And now with everything on 12 here and the low ratio, you hear when I kick it in, you can hear. So I'll, I'm going to just do that and then turn it on, right? Nice. of those where you just leave it on all the time as you do yeah I, I own believe. I own a uh, compact Alux Cali 76 and I run it right at the beginning of my chain and I keep everything pretty flat like how we have it so yeah. it's not overly compressed yes because it's this, just it does go really compressed it can it? go Sorry. really compressed it's just enough that it balances itself in the mix yeah and with when you add drums you add bass or whatever else it just has a an easier time of finding its spot because often guitar can just get not, lost it can get bit. lost and it doesn't know where to how to fit into a mix really well yeah and that helps it out really great wow. so I mean uh, I'd love to hear you just keep it as a, at that setting yeah um, as we know a compression pedal is great for like di our dynamics so like it balances everything out if you want to play loud it's gonna be loud and then if you're gonna play quieter it's still gonna give you that same kind of yeah, volume so when, and attack. You, when you hit it. Yeah. So if I if I go if I go like this. Even if I whack it. You can hear how it drags it down a bit. Yeah. Let me take a little bit of the reverb down. You can hear how that, how it really just holds me down, so I don't get too loud all yeah. over the place. And that's basically what you do with, with vocals. We do that with the lapels as well mm. uh, to make sure. I'm a, I'm a bit muffled in there. There he is. There it is. So you know, uh, so it, so you don't get all of the, yeah, over the top high. Uh, Same thing. Volumes. Same exact thing. I mean, it just you. It's just the the notes are more balanced. Absolutely. Everything has has a spot and. The things that don't normally pop out as much are really coming to life. Yeah. Let's try. So let's try just to leave everything here and see what the high and low ratio. Yeah, keep so going. So if, if you want to fiddle yeah. with the knobs yeah, yeah, yeah. while I just do a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it's yeah, just yeah. To, so that's the overall volume of the whole yeah, pedal, yeah. isn't it? So and then you you could already tell that it got it, it, it sounded more compressed went, once oh, we switched it on. Yeah. yeah. So so let's go back. Have it when you have it on, then turn it, and you turn it off again. And you find if you find that sweet spot, well, there you go. That's you nice. Just, you can just tell it already. You can you can tell it just makes and, everything sound better. Yeah, and how does it feel to play no, like, with it, it on? Does you yeah. feel a difference in like just that squash and the yeah? You, it's a different way of, of attacking the guitar. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Hey, hey. but it, it does it does make a, a, a massive difference. So even if let's say I've just got now I've got a, a nobles on the floor here. So if I've got it's just a little bit of drop. Give it a little bit more drive. You have that after the compressor, So this right? is first now. Yeah. Go yeah. into that and then. Let's, uh, <laughs> the slide amazing. rig is really good for this, but let's see. Let's play just like one note, not bent, just like. <laughs> that's Woo! great, isn't it? That's really nice. I mean, that's, there is there is nothing bad to say about it, but of course we we know that it costs money. And in a way, you get what you pay for. You're getting what you pay for. This is this is just about as good as it gets for compressors. Yeah. I mean, these are very pro, <laughs> meant for pro use. Like that's why you have one. No. Oh. Yeah. Please. I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one yet. I don't have one yet. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get one. Well, now that you're get, now that you're getting a taste for mm. it. They're but, just, but so I, they're just it. <laughs> yeah, they, they are the thing. But I can, I can imagine to having having the extra, so not having this blend thing, so you can do your ratio on yeah. your track, on on the deluxe version, so you've got more options to kind of. Yeah, it might be a cool cool idea to, to have that. Anyway, links will be below for this one. That's great. And it was eighteen and, and, and nine. We were yes. in, in nine at the That's moment, right. so you get more headroom. That's I, right. I, I respect. Anyway, I haven't messed around with that at all. But I, as we've done in videos before. And, and you really there is a difference with headroom, but but I think it's difficult to hear on your iPhone 
with a headroom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've <laughs> I mean, got to do it what, yourself. Yeah. When, yeah. If, you, if, you've got, if you're in front of the amps and you can, you can hear it, then, you know, I can imagine then it, the, the, it's also something that you feel yeah. when you play. You got to do it in a controlled environment where you're used to your, how your amp sounds and you can really tell. Maybe not even on stage, but at home, plug it in and... Plug it in at home. Switch. Yeah, plug it in at home. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Anyways, this, let's so we got the, the slide so, rig here. Yeah. Uh, as I was saying before, I'll switch to another guitar, but uh, the slide rig is, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, shoot me, shoot me down if I'm wrong, shoot but this was the first, flames. Um, this was the first one that Simon came up with, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but um, voiced after the, the two 1176s from the Loyal, Lowell George Little Feet kind yeah. of sound. Um, Whereas it, where you, you basically got two running into each other. There's right? two running into each yeah. other. So in that first jam we did, um, and right now I have it kind of set up basically like the best of both worlds. It's a very just standard compressed kind of sound. So this is just a Pete Strat clean in the V40. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so with that on. Oh, feel that. tell like pretty standard compression so like for the funky thing like or, nice. or the country thing So you can, that is the very similar sound to what we, were, we got in the Cali 76, which is like a standard balanced kind of compressed sound. Yeah. Because um, we so, got some, we got, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. we do have a little, uh, in the, um, what do you call it? Manual. Manual. There is some uh, example settings. And the one you're running now is the one that Just is pretty parallel standard. compressed. Yeah. Yeah, best of both of us. So here, yeah. here it is with the uh, little bit of King of Tone here. This is uh, just... So it responds really well to pedals too, like, yeah. like the Cali 76. Oh, it's lovely. I'm going to switch over to um, this guy here. It's beautiful. This is a Sterling Music Man. Set up for a bit of slide. Cutlass. Cutlass or cutlass? Cutlass. Cutlass. It's cut cutlass, isn't it? That's, a, that's the sword. The cut, isn't that a sword, a cutlass? Please comment. So I think a cutlass. I think it is. It's like a sword or like a, like a put it back in the sheet <laughs> and sword. Pull it out. <laughs> Uh, we we're talking about the 1176 sound. I'm going to dial in here just um, basically the sound of one 1176. So we're not running both yet. This so is what, this is called stage stage one. Yeah. So you got stage one and two. These two knobs. One is stage one and one is stage two. And then you yeah. got a blend switch here. That's how yes. you blend it. So it's quite simple actually. Isn't yeah. It? You don't have to, all of these com controls where you go. Oh, I don't know what I'm yeah. doing. You just go. I like it there. Good. It can be easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Open D.
So we're tell the difference already. It's like yeah. you played a little bit of John Mayer in that. <laughs> 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 That's a John Mayer song from. Uh, oh. That that bit. Yeah yeah yeah. Anyway. That one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, sneaky, so, sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. So you could tell there was a bit more volume boost, you know. Let us gracefully touch our tips. Touch so, so the tips of the uh, rock slide. Tips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, I'm trying to learn. I'm, I'll get there at some point. So yeah, you get a volume boost. Um, you get that. You get the sustain first of all, and you get that balance. So, so I'm going to switch it now. Um, so now this is the sound of dual stage compression. So, oh. It will get it's going to get loud. Yeah, it does get a bit noisy that, but that's you no. Know, that, it's the compressor dust yeah. sort of just. It's just kind of what it does. So this is this this is the Lowell George sound. Little feet, mm. two eleven seventy sixes going into each other. Let's see how it goes. And no king of tone. This is just clean. So it's like, it's, it dies out without it. Um, let's do the same thing we did earlier. Uh. Try to do a slide up without it on, just do that same slide. That's nothing. And then with it on. <laughs> so as you can tell, it gets it can get pretty squishy, pretty compressed. That's two 1176 That's sounds together. It's sound pretty though. amazing. It's such a good tool as well for for getting. As, as I mentioned again and again, the inspiration when you got if you pick something up or you pluck something in and it doesn't inspire you to play, mm. then then you're uh, you know you you're gonna you're gonna you just lose the interest. Yeah, you know what I mean. Where if you pluck something in and you go, man. This is, I just want to play more now, mm. then it's great. You know? Yeah, and it, if it makes you play good, if it makes you feel good when you're playing, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, man. You know, we didn't do uh, the overdrive here with, oh, with, yeah, with this right. setting. Let's hear yeah, this. Right. So this is a...
clang, so, clang, yeah. clang. Nice. Hey, man. Nice slide player. Wow. I'm still... What slide was that? That was uh, this guy that, um, that plays in this band, and, you know, he uses <laughs> these, these slides that, you know... It's a rock slide. It's a rock it's slide. A, it's an Ariel signature rock slide, and it's really cool. So I've got some of those rock slides that, um, that I need to try out. Got some nickels and got some glass stuff, you know, and that's kind of turned me on to all this stuff as well. Yeah. Trying to get this, the, you know, to sitting when you do the slide, which I've figured out one, uh, trying to find a slide that fits really well mm. because my problem's always been not that we do this is not a slide video, but finding a slide that doesn't go up and down and then you can't bend your finger around it. Finding the one that fits really well, yeah. where these fits really well, it's, it's a little groove. It's all that, all of that stuff is really important. Once you got that, this is just me trying to learn slide. I've never played slide before. Because right. I've always kind of gone, kind of gone, oh, do I need to do it? Yes, okay, then I've got, then I've done it, you know. Yeah. But it's always been a little, oh, it's completely not really me, you know. But one, when you then get, you get to that point where it all kind of fits, and then you get this on top. So it's all about the inspirational tools yeah. to get you to a certain point where you are, you know, which takes a long time, practice and practice and practice, trust me, because I've tried to practice and it's not easy to slide at all. But when you got that. about slide yeah. I'm still finding my way around this is just a D flat um, uh, drop D tuning but you know, awesome. you're, you're in an open G e, D open D yeah. and I've tried to be in an open E because Derek Trox is in an open E a yeah. lot and he, but he only plays 11s he doesn't do all the heavy gauge strength it's crazy stuff. it's pretty crazy so you kind of have to find your way with it and I think once you find your way with it if you've got the inspirational tools you find that's good and this is amazing then you can begin yeah. to be a master of stuff like that you know even with the funk stuff if you want to play the funk guitar you know or it's that percussive the, thing you know it's all the percussive thing or the Back. But you know, you know what I mean. All yeah. that stuff will inspire you to get a point, and you know, you can. You, it's great to start out at some point. Not everybody's got two or three hundred pounds to buy no. uh, one of these pedals for. The links will be below, by the but way. But if you but, want to take compression seriously and you want to invest in something, this is this is the right way to go. I mean, thanks for compression. Incredible. You are you are not going to miss out. Um, incredible. Let me just say that obviously this is the slide rig. Yeah. You don't have to play slide on it. No. Or it you could play slide with this one. You could play slide with either one. Yeah. Um, the slide rig really uh, is kind of throwing back to the, the Lowell George thing that I keep talking about. Just It's just the most compression you're going to get. Yeah. Basically, you're going to get a bit more than this one. So for slide, you know, it's the sustain, it's the, all that stuff. That's why. But don't be discouraged, non-slide players. If you want all that compression, you can still use this one happily. Absolutely. Like, for example, oh. it's just like... It feels so good that that um that squash It, 
it really you don't need really, you don't need to play slide it's just an it's amazing tool isn't it and then you can get to whether you want to put it before or after your drive pedals yes. or before or after whatever and that's a whole that's a whole other world whole different uh, ball game and you're going to end up wanting two of these because you're going <laughs> to yeah. want one before and you're going to want one after i already want one before uh, and want one after oh man they're good anyway amazing all good effects thank you for playing so lovely man it's good wow. to have you back good to be back um so Check them out, links are below. There are more in the range, as we said. And um, check it out. Check it out, man. My name is Pete. Ariel. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>